You may have missed it, but the White House just asked Congress for a whole boatload of money. I'm talking $40 billion in new funding. And yes, the bulk of that money would go to fund the efforts in Ukraine. Now, right now, Congress is on recess, but lawmakers have been working and will continue to work on the spending bills that need to be passed for the upcoming fiscal year. And every year when this process is underway, it's very normal for the White House to put in what's called a supplemental funding request, and that's what happened here. It's important for you to understand just because this is what the president is asking for does not mean this is what he is going to get, especially with a recent pushback from some lawmakers about the money that's been spent in Ukraine. So here's what the president is asking for for the first quarter of 2024. The vast majority of this money would be going towards military, financial, and humanitarian assistance for Ukraine. That includes several things like $13 billion for defense funds. Of that, $9.9 .9 billion would be for equipment and replenishment of our own Pentagon stockpiles. $8.5 billion in funding for our State Department to provide economic and humanitarian security assistance and $3.6 billion would be for continued military intelligence and other defense support. The president is also asking for about $4 billion in additional funding for border and migration efforts at our own southern border. Of that, $2.2 billion would be allocated for border management, shelter, and services for migrants. And tucked in there is a $416 million request for Homeland Security for a non-intrusive inspection system and other measures to counter fentanyl trafficking. The president is also asking for $12 billion in supplemental funds for FEMA here at home. This is, of course, in response to all the natural disasters we've been seeing that the federal government has had to respond to, from the wildfires in Maui and California. California to hurricanes in Florida, which are expected to get worse in the coming weeks. Now, when Congress returns after Labor Day, they will have just a few weeks to come to a deal and vote on not only this supplemental funding request, but all of the specific funding bills that keep our government running. And if they can't come to an agreement by September 30th, the government is scheduled to shut down.